Okay, let's do a pocket EDC dump. So I'll start out with this bag, which I've never done a video on. I'm not going to go through the contents of the bag. Um, I'll make a separate video for that, but keep in mind that a lot of things change uh, depending on my needs. And this bag, I'll carry it with me, but then I'll leave it in the car or at my desk. It's not really something that I need to have on me 24-7, but it has things like uh, power packs, uh, some food, things like that. So, on my person, this is carried on me if needed. Otherwise, it goes with me out the door, and then it stays in the car or at the office desk or wherever. Sometimes I'll carry it with me. Um, one reason I will carry it with me is because of the material. It's a neoprene. It's very soft. And it's actually a women's camera bag, which I found out later. Maybe if uh, the clue was I, I, I did find it at Walmart in the women's department. But I thought it was just a really nice looking bag. Uh, anyway, True Time, I don't know what the name of it was, but they're, they're getting hard to find. So I have not seen them at all Walmarts, but then I have seen them at some. And uh, it's got a, a an OD green color one too. So, anyway, I like it because it's comfortable. I've tried uh, sling bags, backpacks, and uh, fanny packs, and they're all good in their own right. But overall, this one's very comfortable, so I, I tend to carry it more. So, that's with me today. Um, I do have my keys, and my keys, again, I won't go through. I might do an update video, but they are designed primarily uh, for my grandchildren to play with. Um, I've collected some lights that flash, blink, and glow, change colors, um, and I've added them so the kids can play with them. And uh, I do spray these down with uh, isopropyl alcohol regularly. And uh, yeah, so that's my keys minus the car key because it's cold in this cabin. But I won't go into the details on that. But that's with me today. I do have my readers. Uh, these are hard candy I got at Walmart clearance. And then I saw them also uh, for sale at another Walmart, not on clearance. And I'm guessing on the prices here. But I th believe I got these on clearance for like 3 bucks, maybe 5 But they were selling like $13 full price. And I got them because they are orange. Uh, they may be women's, but... I got them because they're orange and they have held up really well. Uh, these are a 2 plus 2.00 magnification. And uh, the only thing is that either my hair grease or oil, whatever, these are kind of, you can feel the wear. But otherwise, they're not loose. Uh, they don't seem to be scratched up, and I've dropped them. And they're sturdy, and the color is a nice bonus. I mean, that's why I bought them, though, was the color. So, Hard Candy, I believe that's the name of them. Man, I do not. Good thing I don't do this YouTube stuff for a living, because I don't remember anything. But these are really nice readers, uh, and I'm going to put them back on so I can use them as needed. Um, I picked up at Shields last week a new spe uh, pepper spray, uh, pepper gel. So, the Sabre Aim and Fire deployment system and trigger whatever it's called I did a video on this already I did a test video on it but this goes either in my vest or uh, in my bag and uh, if I have to I can clear out my pockets and stick it in my front right pocket but uh, that goes with me and then starting on my person minus my vest I'm not going to dig out my vest uh, let me go ahead and pause this for a second and take this uh, neck knife off. Okay, so I feel like uh, I need to include this because I've pretty much been carrying it every every day. Uh, is this uh, neck knife. Uh, we'll start out with the knife. That's the uh, Ozark Trail Model 8607 pound with the scales removed and the handle part of the tang uh, of the blade painted a matte blue. 
um, it's held up in its retention. I th think I detected a little bit of looseness, but it's not a problem. I mean, yeah, but it still does not come out. I did add though some uh, of that matte blue polish on the inside of the sheath. Let me go ahead and open that up just to see if I can get it a tighter fit. I could totally be doing it wrong, but anyway. Um, so uh, I this deserves to be included because I carry it pretty much every day. And if I'm not carrying it for some reason, like if I'm painting it or doing something with it, uh, I'll replace it with another neck knife. But uh, I've been using this uh, for batoning, uh, small pieces of wood, for carving out. I'm still working on some wood projects and uh, practicing my sharpening with it. I have a diamond pocket stone and then some ceramic rod systems, pull throughs. Um, and uh, cardboard. Uh, one thing I've been doing is taking cardboard and scrap paper and, and food boxes and cutting them down to squares for scrap paper uh, so I can use them one more time and then burning them in my bonfire or my pit fire. But uh, I took the scales off and I don't regret it at all. This is very comfortable. I can always wrap the handle if I need a, a thicker handle. I would use duct tape and then uh, or I can wear some gloves. I have been slowly using my diamond sharpener to grind down this, it used to look like this, but this part right here, because I want to make it nice and flush on this section, so it takes some time, but that's okay. I don't have a Dremel or any power tools, because generally, uh, my life does not, has not gone to in that direction. Uh, I mean, I would use them, but they would, it would be used so far in between. I once had some files that I used for a knife project, and then I didn't use them for a long time, so I ended up giving them away, um, because that's kind of my mentality. I, I don't like to keep things for too long if I can help it, because a lot of times I can get it again if I need to, uh, and the diamond sharpener, the diamond stone works well. Before that, I was using a multi-tool file, so that worked well fine too. The time is not, not the issue. Uh, I, I have no need to be in a hurry. I just, you know, it's just something to pass the time. It's a hobby. So this knife uh, is my daily fixed blade carry. And let me pop that back in. The lanyard is a shell of a 1100 paracord. And it does have, I think it's 11 strands. I got that at Walmart. Uh, going on the lanyard, since it uh, doesn't have much on it, uh, a beaded necklace that, or beaded bracelet that my daughter made and gave me. I'm... Uh, I'm keeping it on the lanyard so I don't destroy it because the last one I had on my wrist did get destroyed but she made that and I love it a little uh, what is that sea sea to summit carabiner I must have got it on a, a fork set or something or maybe yeah we'll say that so this little flashlight I got at Academy Sports single AAA battery uh, comes in very handy uh, I do carry a couple extra flashlights in case the battery dies. There's a twist turn on, and uh, let me go ahead and pause this again. Yeah, the battery's dying a little bit on it. Uh, I have no idea on the lumens, but it's very handy at night, especially when navigating the house in the dark when you don't want to turn on all the lights, or, yeah, in the car. Uh, but I do have some backups in case the battery dies, so I always have light, and I'll show you those in a second. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And then finally on this lanyard is the Ruko uh, knife sharpener. comes with a built-in whistle and uh, carbide and ceramic sharpeners. Uh, I, uh, for a while I was using just the ceramic, but it was taking a long time to touch up some of my knives. So a few strokes on the carbide and then finishing on the ceramic seems to work really well. So, I did see a work sharp that had this with a diamond stone built in, but 
I already have a pocket stone from AccuSharp, so no need to buy another one. But if I ever have to buy another sharpener, for whatever reason, I'll probably buy that WorkSharp handheld one. Um, anyway, so there's my lanyard that always stays on my neck. Uh, front, I wear carpenter jeans, so currently have nothing hanging on the tool loop. But in the front left pocket, I have my uh, alcohol spray. 70% isopropyl alcohol. Um, I use this in place of hand sanitizer gel. I can spray this on my hands. I can spray this on my face mask. I can spray this uh, on the handles at the grocery store, on the cart handles at Walmart. So I use this a lot and I refill it with either isopropyl alcohol or the uh, Zest spray that you can get at Walmart if you can find it for 50 cents on clearance. Here it is without the label. But uh, I refill it with that if I need to. So uh, that has really come in handy. Uh, in my opinion, works better than those clean keys, which I just so happen to have a a knockoff version I got at Menards for two dollars on clearance and uh, I only bought it because it said brass and I would like to see the brass discolor over time uh, I don't use this it's more of a token to remember our time with COVID which we're still in but uh, this does not go with me it stays in the car and it's like a fidget toy while I'm driving uh, useless other than for Nostalgia. Uh, because when you touch things, you can just spray down your hands or use sanitizer. Okay, front left pocket. I've got my bifold wallet. Uh, Walmart, six bucks. It's filled pretty much with band aids because my granddaughter enjoys band aids and it's got her favorite characters. So this will get smaller over time I just over stuffed it but uh, that's my current wallet and then what else in my front left pocket I got okay I, I just got some kind of error message hmm you can't see it let me go ahead and stop this part and see what's up I don't know what it said. I didn't read it fast enough. I think it just warned me that recording drains battery. I'll check my battery real quick. Yeah, I mean, it's plugged into the car. But that being said, um, I'm always battling space on my phone, clearing out caches and dumping trash and stuff. So anyway, this, uh, this is a bracelet that I got at Walmart for under five bucks. I just took the metal piece off to carry it around. Just a token for my pocket, really. And then some change that Anything less than a quarter, I tend to throw out sides so the grandkids and nieces and nephews can run into it, you know, because kids like to find money. Hi. Have a good day. Here, here's a dime. Have a good day. You going to school? Yeah. Okay. Be safe. my nephew there okay what else we got going on so that's the front left side back left side uh, so one thing about my EDC it does change slightly every day uh, there are some staples but there's things that I'm carrying now that I did not carry a week ago uh, so I'm back to carrying my uh, uh, I guess we call it heirloom knife this is a custom paint job by yours truly CRK CRKT igniter. I got it from my son-in-law, and uh, you know I enjoy it. I really do. Uh, I'm really into fixed blades now, but I will carry this uh, again. I was carrying a, a two AAA flashlight from Walmart, uh, but then I got rid of it because I only want to keep to the single batteries. We'll talk about that in a second. But uh, this knife, um, yeah, that'll stay with me forever. And maybe one day my grandson will want it. Um, works great. Sharpens really nice. Easy. I have no complaints about this knife. Um, so CRKT Ignitor. 
um, custom scales painted by yours truly. So that's it on my left side. Oh, one more thing. New uh, multi-tool I got at Menards. Uh, I found out it looks like a Leatherman Wave. I am not a Leatherman expert or a multi-tool expert. Uh, but uh, it comes in a three-pack for $17. But pretty much it's like a $6 tool. You get a knife, flashlight, and multi-tool. And uh, I made a video about it already. So if you want to watch that. But it doesn't have the scales to measure. Which is not a big deal. Because I don't use all the tools on this knife. Primarily, primarily I'll use the... Uh, can opener, which it haven't used it yet, but it looks really good on this one. Let me see if I can pull it out real quick. Yeah, it looks uh, really aggressive, so it looks good. Can't wait to try it. Well, I guess I can since I've had this for a couple of days now, or a day. But, uh, yeah. They got little tabs to make it easier to pull some stuff out. Uh, but some stuff you still have to open up, like the knife blade, to get to. But, anyway. I like this. They have uh, another version that I bought before that looks like a Leatherman Wingman. Uh, that one's kind of short and squat. And this one, I like the, the shape. I like the square shape. Um, so, yeah. I never thought it would matter, but... Um, yeah, so I'm carrying this for a while. I just carry it on my belt loop with a clip. I don't like sheaths. And uh, speaking of sheaths, I did buy a, uh, a Schrade fixed blade at uh, Orshans. And I tried to carry it on my tool loop and on my belt. And, and then I bought another Schrade fixed blade. Uh, there's videos on those already. But long story short, I don't really... They, they dig into my... Uh, belly fat so not comfortable uh, those two particular knives are not really scout carry compatible uh, I did carry uh, a CRKT minimalist scout carry and it works fine but uh, I ended up taking the clips off uh, I just don't really want to keep them on my belt I'm trying to keep just the essentials so that's it on the left side on the right side we have Starting with the bottom pockets, if you're familiar with carpenter pants, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know, if they're, I'm sure they're tool pockets, but we have the original Pepper Gel Saber Red, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, Saber Red. So, anyway, I found this in a black version, uh, but decided that I'd go for the colored version and just in case I drop it, make it easier to find. Uh, got to redo my attempt at a snake knot there. But uh, anyway, won't review this. Uh, it's still good. That's why I didn't buy the black one. But that is my original pepper gel. So now I have two, which is always good to have a, a little bit of a backup on certain things. Uh, my very handy shirt person stick. It's a snake stick that I got at uh, Petco, I think. And uh, I think it was, I don't know how much it was. But anyway, it's handy because it extends. And uh, I can reach things on the top shelf. I can grab handles. Uh, worst case scenario, I can pull and drag things to the front. Uh, because, you know, a lot of these stores now don't have people to help you that are readily available. And it's not worth my time to wait. I did add a little bit of duct tape just to see if I can improve any kind of grip. Um... But yeah, um, I actually gave this to my son when he was working at a grocery store, and he needed he needed to reach uh, shelves like, like cans on the very back and to pull them forward, and his arms weren't long enough, so that uh, that came in handy. But then when he quit that job, uh, I did ask for this back, even though I've bought some backups since. But uh, yeah, this is more handy than you would uh what than I would have figured I would need. I've even let other people uh, use it while I was out shopping. Let me go ahead and extend it for you here. So here it is extended. I guess you could use it as a back scratcher uh, or a, uh, like a whip for a weapon if you had to. But uh, primarily it's a tool that I use and that I actually use. So when I use things, I actually get more value from it. And I like, I do like how they get used and beat up looking. It tells me that they're 
they're earning their keep. So anyway, that's my short person uh, stick. Uh, that's it for the little pockets on the right side. On my main right front pocket. Let me go ahead and clear it out. I've got some junk in there that I don't usually carry. I'm just transporting. So I got uh, a uh, new fixed blade. The uh, SE uh, Kandaroo. I did add a bit of hollowed out 1100 paracord. Uh, it does improve the uh, purchase on the handle. Uh, I decided not to add the belt clip. And this will go in my front right pocket. And this will actually be rotated. I did buy a few other small fixed blades that I do love each one differently. So I will rotate them out. Um, versus my neck knife that I pretty much don't. Or my folder in my back pocket, which I want to rotate, but I probably won't right now. Unless it's a fifth pocket knife. But anyway, the only thing about this knife, they had a black version, and I just wanted something different. But I'm still kind of hesitant because of the steel. I know it's got this coating, and I know I've got like a sanding block. If any rust ever does appear, I can sand it off. But uh, I just wanted an SE. You know, there's there's things that... I will buy just because of the brand. I mean, I'm not going to deny that. I, I'm, I'm a type of person that likes to think that, you know, I use a tool despite its branding or despite its looks. But I'm also being a realist, and those things are factors. And, you know, the, the Ozark Trail Fixed Blade, I really, the thing that makes me really love it is the design and the price point. You know, $5, less than $5 for that fixed blade. Really, I I will carry it more than I will carry this. But, I do want an SE blade. And this one was $64 at uh, Frontier Justice. And, uh, it's taking every bit of me to not go and buy the black one too. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, I use this. I have used it, but not for anything survival. It's just... Just a little pocket knife. So I did do a video on this one too. Let me pop it back in the sheath. Um, you know, I'm starting to prefer certain types of sheaths. I've, I've noticed a couple of sheaths out there. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to buy leather sheaths or nylon sheaths. So there are knives that I've passed up because of that. And there are knives that I've passed up because uh, the sheaths... The, the blades are narrow. Like, this one has a nice belly to it, but they were narrow, and it had so much space around it. And, uh, you know, that's just wasn't something that I, I wanted. So, it's good to have those types of, I guess, rules in place so you don't end up buying everything. <coughs> but anyway, so my front right pocket uh, to go on, I have the Cabela's Essentials Combo Blue Version Flashlight, 75 lumens, AAA battery. And I I keep, I love this light too. Um, so the thing about flashlights is that I have no need for such high lumen flashlights. I am not going to, uh, in, a, in, a, in a dangerous situation, uh... Other than an active shooter, which in a dark theater, you know, which I don't like to go to the movies to begin with. So the likelihood of me needing one is down. But uh, I, I would prefer to use the pepper gel or other forms of uh, uh, self-defense uh, before I use a flashlight. So I do carry a backup in red. And uh, that way if one dies, the other one works. And they're so small that... It, it works just fine. And that is it for the front right pocket. The back right pocket. I have this scraper that I got on clearance at Price Chopper for like, I don't know, 69 cents. And it's come in handy, though not that often. Uh, but I do, uh, I did use it for, it's great for frost removal on your mirrors and if you don't have heated uh, mirrors. And uh, when the sun, when it gets hot this summer, I plan on using this to see if I can scrape some stickers off the windows. Uh, and then this cheap uh, note, notepad I got at Walmart 
It was like a three pack for 88 cents, I think. So, put the duct tape so I know which is the front. Anyway, um, yeah, I use that for various things. Probably should keep this thing centered. And the last thing is my fifth pocket. And the fifth pocket, I have this uh, Poco, Paco, um, oh yeah, okay, that warning message just came again, talking about the uh, battery. So, must have been about this time too, about 12 minutes. Man, I'm trying to hurry, but I'm trying not to, if that makes sense. But I, I did want a, a Paco pen. And I saw this at Academy Sports. Uh, the only downside... Well, one, I like it. It's plastic, it's lightweight, it's got my favorite color orange. And uh, I don't care much for the pressurized Fisher ink cartridge. I just bought it for the looks of the case. But, but it's disposable. I can't find a way of replacing the, the cartridge. So it was like two of them for like 12 bucks. And uh, but this will last me a long time because my primary pens that I use for work uh, are not this. This is what I carry with me in case I need, ever need a pen. And you know, as we live in this digital age, the need for a pen is less and less. So the usage of this though will not be as much. I do go through my work pants quite often because I do like to doodle and take notes and things like that while I'm working. Okay, fifth pocket is a Bic lighter with a little bit of duct tape around the bottom. Oh, what else we got in here? We got apparently another flashlight, which I didn't realize I had. So I will... Put this one back in the uh, supplies, I guess. I don't know the word. Won't be carrying three flashlights. That's a little excessive. Uh, I got this, uh, you know, like chapstick type. I don't use chap. I don't get chap lips really, but I use this a lot for uh, just a quick uh, elbow or hand, like dry skin lotion. Um, And then the last thing in the fifth pocket for right now, let me make sure, is uh, this uh, Ozark Trail Model 8604 pound without the clip. And I like it better without the clip. And I added a lanyard, and it makes a great fifth pocket knife. And bearings. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is a great knife. I've used it mainly for opening packages, if I'm not using my neck knife, you know, uh, but I like this knife, and I've got a couple others uh, still in the package. I don't plan on selling, uh, probably will end up be giving away, but uh, this one's not centered, but the other ones are. Well, another one that I opened is. But I like this knife, so I did make a video of this one already. That is the fifth pocket, and is that everything? Yes, so I did not go through all the contents of my vest, which is a orange Swiss Tech vest. Um, I might do a video on that one. It, it was like $15 at Walmart, and then they had them on clearance for $9. Uh, it's a great vest. Uh, the only gripe I had was sometimes, for whatever reason, uh, the inside material gets caught in the zipper. Uh, it only seems to happen when I'm wearing my uh, hoodie underneath. So, I don't know if that's a factor, but uh, easy to resolve, easy to fix. And, uh, and I didn't go through all the contents of my EDC bag, which requires me to basically want to. <laughs> so, that being said, this is the current EDC Everyday Carry Pocket Dump um, for December, or what is this, January? I'm, I'm probably going to do this about once a month. Um, but I do change it out, so like tomorrow I might have, you know, we're definitely going to have one less flashlight and maybe switch out the fifth pocket knife 
and switch out the uh, front pocket fixed blade. Otherwise, everything else will probably stay the same. And then the keychain, as I run into new things to add onto it, I might switch out. So, there you go. This is probably the longest video I've ever made. And, you know, sometimes you just have to get it all out. Bye.